times in 10. So 10 has one zero. All the numbers move one place left. It creates a gap. There's a decimal. So now there's a gap between the last zero and the decimal. Fill it. 70 times 10, one zero. All the numbers move one place left. There's the decimal. Now there's a gap between the decimal. Fill it. 7 times 10, one, d one zero. All the numbers move one place left. There's the decimal. Now there's a gap between the 7 and the decimal. Fill it. 7 times 10, 70. 70 times 10, 700. 0 0.7. All the numbers move one place left because there's one zero. There's the decimal. So now the seven is the other side of the decimal. You could put a zero next to it, but there's no need because seven is understandable without the zero being there. It doesn't change anything to have the zero there. That's still seven. One zero. All the numbers move one place left. There's the decimal. So now the seven's one place closer to that decimal. You could put a zero here, but 0 0.70 or 0 0.7 doesn't change the size of that number when you read it. See if you can do these. If you're feeling confident, see if you can do these or pause the video now. Okay, here we go. Same thing. One zero, so it's going to move one place left. We're still times in by 10. So there's the decimal. There's now going to be a gap created when that two, three and zero move one place left. Fill it. One zero, it's going to move one place left. There's the decimal. It's now going to be a gap when the two and the three move one place left between those and the decimal. Fill it. You've got 230. One place left. There's the decimal. They're going to move one place left. They're now both the other side of the decimal. I could put a zero there, but 23.0 and 23, same thing. One zero, one place, still times in by 10. There's the decimal. The two is now going to move one place left to the other side of that decimal. I could put a zero there, but there's no point because it's the same number. 2.3 or 2.30, they're the same size. And there's no misreading of it, whether we've got that zero there or not. There are the answers. So in summary, there's how many zeros is how many places left. One zero, one place left. That's left. Okay, so you try. Over to you, pause the video, have a go at them all. Okay, welcome back. Now doing the answers. So all the numbers move one place left. There's a gap now between where the decimal was previously and the zero. That's 4,000. All the numbers move one place left. There's a gap now between the zero and the decimal, which there wasn't before. Fill it. It's 400. One place left. There's a gap now between the zero, the four, and the decimal. Fill it. It's 40. One place left. The four moves to the other side of the decimal. There's no point putting a zero there. It's the same thing. It's not wrong if you do though, so don't worry. One place left. The four is now closer to the decimal. I could put a zero there, but there's no point. It's not wrong to do so. 870. One place left. There's now a gap between the zero and the decimal. The decimal was there. Fill it. One place left. There's now a gap between the seven and the decimal. Fill it. One place left. The seven now has moved to the other side of the decimal. It's not wrong to put a zero there. It's just not necessary. It's up to you though. One place left. The eight has now moved to the other side of the decimal. I could put a zero there, but it's the same thing. But if you prefer, it's up to you. It's not wrong, as you wish. One place left. There was the decimal at the start, just behind the two. So now there's a gap between the two and the decimal, fill it, you get 220. One place left, there's now a gap between the four and the decimal, fill it, you get 2400. One place left, the eight passes to the other side of the decimal.
could put a zero there, it's up to you, but it doesn't change anything whether you do or not. One place left, all the numbers move one place left. The eight passes to the other side of the decimal. You could put a zero there, but it's the same whether you have it or not. How did you do? Give yourself a mark. If you're unsure, revisit. Key thing, remember always, is there's one zero, so all the numbers are moving one place left. Now we're going to look at times by 100.